Now, any, and, and there's two ways to do the mini IVF. The one way we originally worked on with the Japanese is just uh, Clomid, believe it or not, Clomid, it doesn't give you a very high pregnancy rate. If you just take Clomid, it's very low, except it gives you the best quality eggs, but it also has a negative impact on your uterine lining's ability to receive those eggs. And so therefore, Clomid is often a, a looked down upon drug, but actually it's incredible that it gives you a mild elevation of FSH, but an equal elevation of LH. So you get recruitment without uh, over recruitment and damage to the eggs. And you also get high quality because of an early LH rise. And, uh, but it's a mild LH rise. And so uh, it's just perfect. And then you just add a very tiny dose every other day of FSH so that the uh, FSH level just stays even and doesn't go down as you begin to develop follicles. So that's one approach. The other approach, and that's endogenous. We get the pituitary gland to do its job. But the other approach is uh, what I call the Denmark mini IVF, which is exogenous, where we just give you much lower doses of gonadotropin and tiny microdoses of LH. So that again, we're not ruining the eggs by overstimulating you, but we're getting better quality eggs. <laughs>